I'm Shania and I'm here with Superdrug for their haunted Halloween party and I've created the Wicked Witch look with products from ALF. I've already applied my base products from ALF today, so we're gonna get straight started with the eyes. Starting off with, I'm taking the second darkest shade in the Bite Size Jalapeno Palette, and we're gonna use a big fluffy brush for this just to start working it in across the lid. So picking up that product, you're gonna pack it onto the lid first, just to make sure you're getting as much pigment as you can, and then you're gonna use those circular motions just to start buffing this out. I always love to wing my eye looks out, especially for a witch character. I feel like giving you that feline shape is just gonna make it look that a little bit more sinister. The great thing about this product is not only is it really pigmented, but it blends beautifully as well. So you really can just build it up however you want, but you always know it's gonna blend out exactly how you want as well. So now that I've got that blend the way that I want it, I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade from the palette now and we're gonna to start to build this up in the outer corner and our crease. So just doing the same method, we're gonna pack it on first and then we're gonna to start to blend it out. I'm using a fluffy but flat brush for this because it allows me to just be a little bit more precise about where I'm placing that product. I'm going ahead and doing the exact same thing on the other eye now. Now that we've got the pigment how we want with that darker shade, we're going back in with that same brush we used first and this has got our lighter green shade and we're just going to start using this to diffuse those colours together so we get a nice seamless blend. The more drama you can achieve with this, the better. I'm now going to go in with a mix of the two shimmer shades in this palette. So we've got a lovely green and then a more gold toned one. This is going to allow us to just bring those reflex onto the eyes and really catch that light. So I'm mixing them both together on the same brush using a flat brush so that I can really start to pack this on and instantly you can see the pigment that we get from these. So I'm just trying to carve quite a sharp shape out so that we're almost creating that cut crease without having to go through all the effort of making a cut crease. And then taking a slightly fluffier brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just diffuse the edges of this into that outer corner where we placed our darkest pigment. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now is where the drama really starts. So I'm gonna go in with my H2O Proof Liner Pen, and this is beautiful because it has a really fine nib at the top of it. My favorite way to do a winged liner is actually to start from the outside and drag in. I just think you have so much more control when you're doing it that way. So we're gonna just use our little finger to place on our face, and then we're gonna find out how far we want this to go. I want a big wing today. So we're gonna go quite far out, and then I'll show you guys how I do it. So find your final point, and you're just gonna drag in towards that lash line and then it's as simple as dragging from there to meet your actual lash line in the center of your lid so we're just going to drag across and i told you guys i wanted it dramatic today so now all we're going to do is fill in that negative space that we have got and that is gonna give us our perfect liner. So for my eye shape, I don't like to bring my liner all the way to the inner corner, but I will put a little bit into my waterline because it still gives you that definition and it's gonna give you the drama without taking any of that lid space away. So I'm just gonna go in and place it right into my waterline. And you'll notice how it gives you the same effect without actually putting it on the lid. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And then this is where you get to sit back and see whether or not you've managed to make it symmetrical. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. Next up, just to add a little bit of something, something to this wing, I'm gonna go in with the liquid metallic eyeshadow in the shade Aurora, which is this gorgeous emerald green. I'm gonna place a little bit onto the back of my hand and work from here. Sometimes I just find that you're gonna be able to be more precise when going from the back of the hand. And then using a small detailed brush, I'm gonna pick up this product. And then I want to create a line over the top of the wing that we've already got. So I'm just going to go to that end point using the same method. I like to go from outside and drag in. What's beautiful about this product as well is you can keep going over the same bit if you really want to build up that colour and intensify the shimmer, but it's not going to crack and it's not going to start peeling off. Once I've applied that liner, I'm just going to keep my eyes slightly closed for now just so it can set down. It only takes a few seconds for it to be completely dry, but we don't want it to transfer. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye. Now taking that same brush and the same metallic eyeshadow, I'm just going to create a line above my crease. I don't want it to sit along the crease. I want to leave a little bit of space so that it's two separate components. So going from the inner corner, I'm just going to start to drag this over. And then we're going to move on to the other eye and do the same thing. And there we are. So our eyes are basically done now, but I'm gonna go in to finish them off with my Lash Extender Mascara. So I like to focus the majority of the product right at the base to begin with. So you'll notice I'm almost just pressing it on. And then once I've done that, I'm then gonna actually start to drag those lashes up. And I find this is what gives me the best volume. 
Just give it a little shimmy so you make sure that you're separating those lash hairs as you go. Taking the Cream Glide Lip Liner in Black and Plum, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this. I always start on the outer corners and start to bring it in. I just find that this way I can line them really nice and easily. I'm gonna take this same lip liner and cover the entire lip with this. Because they're so creamy, you can actually almost make it a lipstick, even though it is a lip liner, and the pigment just holds so well. And I'm gonna use my finger just to make sure that everything is nice and even. To finish off the lip, I'm using the Glow Reviver Lip Oil, which is in the shade Jam Sessions. Placing this over the entirety of my lip, it gives a gorgeous gloss, but it does still have a pigment to it as well. That is two products for a lip, and look how good it looks. To do the finishing touches on this look, I'm gonna pop straight back in to the Jalapeno palette, and we're gonna go in with those green shades. I just wanna add a bit of smoke to that lower lash line. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm taking the lighter green shade first, and I'm just gonna work this on the lower lash line and doing the same on the other lower lash line. Now taking the darkest green shade on a nice and flat precision brush, we're just gonna have this go right next to our lash line, mostly on the outer corner like we did on our lid as well. Now going back in with those two shimmer shades that we've mixed together, I'm just gonna place this in the inner corner on the lower lash line and just look how much that brightens the eye. Using that same brush, I'm gonna take a small amount of that shimmer and I'm gonna place it just below the brow on the brow bone. You can see how blind that is so we're just going to take our finger to diffuse it out slightly to completely finish off the eyes now i'm going to first go in with my ilior volume lashes which i'm going to cut into three quarters just to give us that added definition on the outer corner and then i'm going to go back in with the mascara for my lower lashes so i've got my little scissors and these are the volume lashes by ilior but i'm going to cut from the smallest part so we're going to take away the end section of this and make them three quarters so just holding them up and i'm going to snip from that outer corner We've got our lashes in two parts, and this is the part we're gonna use for our lashes today. Before we complete this look, I'm just gonna refresh my brows with the tinted brow gel, and just drag this through my brows to make sure they're looking as good as they possibly can. The last finishing touch to this makeup is freckles. So we're gonna go back in with that metallic liquid shadow, placing it onto the back of our hand once again. Taking a small detailed brush, I'm just gonna pick this up on the end, and we're gonna start creating freckles. So I wanna go all the way over my nose and onto the cheeks, mimicking how freckles normally would be. Just dotting this around randomly with no real pattern, just trying to make them look as natural as green freckles can look. Just before I head off to the party, I've got to tell you guys about the Cantu Curling Cream. I used this before I started getting ready today and I'm gonna go ahead and just spritz my hair again to make sure that it's nice and wet and work this through my curls to make sure that my curls stay nourished and really defined all night. Okay, I'm gonna go get dressed and ready for the party. Back in a sec. I'm back after finishing off my hair and I've got my Elegant Touch Cat Eye Effect nails on. And now I am here, the Wicked Witch party ready. Can't forget my hat. Let's go.